Well, you've probably heard of a green card, which allows an immigrant to live and work permanently in the United States. But now there's talk of Colorado creating a purple card specific to our state. Sam Bush attended a hearing at the Capitol tonight. Stan, it is an interesting idea. Well, Karen, this bill comes near with just a couple weeks left in the legislative session and after repeated failed attempts in Washington to address immigration reform. This one also unlikely to become law, but it could start a big debate. I always said my job is to keep America beautiful. Jesus Medrano grew his landscaping company from the ground up into a $40 million company. In the summer, he employs nearly 300 people. But federal slowdowns in the h 2 visa program cost him millions just last year. I think my losses were somewhere around two, two and a half million dollars. I didn't have the people to cover these properties. He needs seasonal workers, and he testified today for what's being called the Purple Card, a program that would allow undocumented residents who've paid taxes in the last two years and haven't committed a felony in the last three an avenue to legal status and to open work. State Representative Dan Pabone is the bill's sponsor. Give some of our Colorado residents rights that they may not otherwise have. Republicans oppose the bill. Even Governor Hickenlooper has voiced concerns. Opponents say the bill is unconstitutional. Uh, I realize I'm not going to persuade you. You're not going to persuade me. Here the federal government has clearly acted. Pabone says the bill isn't about skirting immigration law, but about getting people already in the country a chance to work freely. What we're saying is people who have who are on the job and who are providing for their families should be able to continue to do so despite what the federal government is trying to do. Now, the bill has a committee vote coming up on Thursday. It then, if it passes, faces an uncertain path in the democratically controlled House of Representatives and almost certain defeat in the Republican-controlled state Senate. Live tonight at the state capitol, Stan Bush covering Colorado first.